Mike Bloomberg suspending his presidential run after spending half a billion dollars on ads alone for his campaign. The former New York mayor now endorsing Joe Biden following his strong Super Tuesday results. And the former Veep is picking up steam in the election. He's also raking in the big bucks. We welcome Brian Schwartz, uh, CNBC.com's politics and finance reporter, Brian, because you follow the money. Um, how much of it will now flow to Biden and I, what does that mean for Bernie's yeah, campaign? Yeah, this was a wild 24 hours uh, for us here. I, as Joe Biden was kind of dominating on Super Tuesday, this phone was going off at rapid succession from bundlers and fundraisers close to Joe Biden who were getting new commitments from donors who were kind of sitting on the sidelines or backing other candidates before they dropped out. New money, new events, events being sold out. And now I'm being told that Ron Conway, a Silicon Valley investor, is now going to be going all in to backing uh, uh, Joe Biden going forward. And I think that's very, very important. Uh, it's a game changer. He gave a lot of money to Biden's super PAC, but he was close to Mike Bloomberg. And now that seems to be changing. And we'll see what happens as we go forward. But it's a big, big moment for Joe Biden. How much might Mike Bloomberg be willing to spend on Biden's behalf? And how does he do it? Well, it's interesting. You know, he, he said that he's willing to spend up to a billion dollars, Mike Bloomberg, that is, against Donald Trump. That was when he was running for president. But he also kept the door open to helping somebody else if he did not make it through this primary. Mm -hmm. So we could expect a ton of money coming from Bloomberg, putting out, that field, uh, putting out that field staff to help Joe Biden, putting ads out in support of Biden and probably against Donald Trump, and using his tech firm, Hawkfish, also in support of Biden's candidates. And what about Bernie Sanders? I mean, most of his fundraising obviously has come from these individual donors. Are they, uh, is that enough firepower? Does it matter whether the money is equivalent, uh, which may be a naive question to ask. But thirdly, can those individual donors kind of pony up enough to keep him competitive with Biden? Well, that's really what this is going to be. You know, we're going to see play out here. Will Bernie Sanders be able to survive with one or two dollar donors? I know for a fact that there are a lot of wealthy executives on Wall Street and Silicon Valley who in one way or another are going to try to start pushing out Bernie Sanders with their money in some form of capacity. Could come in a pack, could come in other forms. We don't know yet. But the outside money is going to be looking at Bernie Sanders as a threat to Joe Biden capturing this nomination. So will Bernie Sanders and his small dollar donors be able to compete with what Biden is currently putting together? I'm not sure, particularly with Mike Bloomberg coming in. It doesn't seem likely. But, you know, Bernie does have that appeal. It just strikes me groups. that, you know, Bloomberg had spent millions on it creating in Instagram memes and things like that, that Bernie's followers just do because that's what they do, because they're passionate and they love the guy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he has that presence on social media. His, his supporters also do as well. And they are able to fundraise off of that platform, all those platforms. So we'll see what happens. Where, where did Bloomberg go wrong? Was it that he didn't start soon enough? Or did he just get in too late and think he could spend his way to the top of the heap? You know, that's a really good question. I, I think it's the, the latter, but I also go back to that first debate that he had. I thought that was curtains for him right there and then. It just was not good enough. The second debate was a little bit better, but it wasn't great. Let's just call it what it is. And the fact is, he put a lot of money into these TV ads. It didn't, ma it didn't match but up. But maybe if he'd had that friend. debate back in August right. or September, maybe. he would have gotten the, the bad the news out of the yeah. way. we got to leave it yeah, there, Brian, okay. but thanks very Thank, much. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.